Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and I think I'm a famous YouTuber now. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, I've been on eight flights in the past like three weeks, which is crazy for me. I'm somebody who is super introverted. I don't travel a lot. I have anxiety. I just don't do this. So to go on trips back to back has been really crazy. I've literally went to Paris, then Las Vegas, then Atlanta, back to back, all three for YouTube related business trips and events. And it's just been crazy. So I definitely wanted to document this for you guys. So it all started with Paris for Paris Fashion Week at the beginning of October and I've actually already posted a whole separate vlog about this trip so you guys should definitely check that out. But long story short, a clothing company called Shein invited me out to Paris, flew me out because they were having a fashion show there for Fashion Week and they also wanted to get some really good content out and about around the city which was crazy for me because Paris was on my bucket list literally. I wanted to go there so bad but just didn't find a way to get there and then boom this opportunity came up I had never flown to Europe before never visited anything like that so this was definitely like a bucket list moment for me but like I said you guys should just go check out that other vlog for all the details on that and then literally a few days after getting home from Paris I was already on my way to Las Vegas for a business trip with collab makeup in case you guys don't know collab is a makeup brand that is sold inside Sally Beauty that I have been a part of since its conception I am one of the creators that they collaborate with to come up with new ideas for new products and every once in a while we all get together to meet and develop those new products so this time they decided to meet up in Las Vegas which was also crazy because Las Vegas was literally the other place that was on my bucket list to visit this year hey all that stuff for two days it's options it's just options hey guys what's up it's Raven and Daisha we just pulled up to the airport we are about to go to Las Vegas. Turn up. I'm going to Vegas because it is a business trip with collab makeup. I'm bringing Daisha as my plus one and hopefully we should have some time to explore Vegas a little bit. We're only, it's only two days, but I've never been to Vegas. So I'm excited. Just went through security. Heading to Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Travel girls, travel little besties, girls trip. <laughs> Jet setters. <laughs> Gonna go gamble my savings away. So far today is a good day. Daisha said I'm living in abundance because I ordered a small smoothie, but she accidentally made a large and gave me a large for free. Then I ordered one taco and the lady was like, do you want two tacos? But I didn't take the two tacos because I know I wasn't gonna eat it. But I would've got a free taco too. Back to back at two different places at the airport. <laughs> I just knew you were doing something behind me. We just landed in Viva Las Vegas. I heard we... somebody said Grand Canyon. I forget. That's out here? Grand Canyon's in Arizona. Oh. Somebody was like, see you at the Grand Canyon. And I was like, wait. When we just got off the plane just now, first thing I see is slot machines in the airport. You want to go gambling? Yeah. It's Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Gamble our money away. Look, see, look at these. Look, look, gambling in the airport. They just, they just trying to steal your money as soon as you touch down. As soon as you walk in the city. Look, the whole casino in the airport. I, I ain't never in my days seen nothing like this. This look like David Buster's. What in the world? Weird. It's like as soon as you touch down, it's party city. <laughs> Let's go gamble. They want to return to the liquor library. <laughs> it's a whole casino down here and we are in the fantasy tower over here on the 16th floor so yeah me Wesley Sam Alicia Lizzie Ashley Nyan is that everybody yeah we're all meeting up here we're all staying in this hotel tonight we have like a little I think it's like a little cocktail party for all of us so here's our room <laughs> 
Wow, very nice. I always have to do a hotel tour everywhere I go. Ooh, love that lighting. Y'all see where I got my inspo from for my home bathroom? Was from hotels that I've stayed at because I love this type of light up mirror situation. Oh, cute. Selfies. Look at this big shower. Dang. Big enough for five people. <laughs> wow, very nice. <laughs> nice. Wow. Dang. They give you Advil and like hangover stuff because they already know what's about to go down. And we have a beautiful view of the desert. <laughs> The event tonight is not until 8 p.m., but we're hungry, we haven't eaten, so we're gonna figure out where to eat. There's like multiple restaurants inside this hotel, I was told, so we'll probably just eat something here, and then we gotta come up here and get ready, get a little glam for the cocktail hour situation. Cheers, Cheers to Vegas! <laughs> So you got your sliders over there, these sticky ribs right here in the middle, uh, the wings, your coleslaw, and then some sauerkraut pickles we throw on there just for fun. So we're getting ready for the little meetup tonight, and I just want to show y'all. <laughs> Look what they should pack. This is, is this um, your toiletries and your makeup? No, this is my makeup. Okay. This is a little Walmart bag, you know. This is a little... But look at the amount of products, everything she needs, right? Get her a full face. <laughs> look what I brought. <laughs> I literally brought my whole makeup room, like this big old bag, and then this is my toiletries. I always overpack for everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so officially ready for the cocktail hour tonight. I went with this black satin dress. I don't know if y'all can really see it that good. I like this dress. I forgot I had this dress. I've been having this since earlier this year. And then I paired it with these gold heels. And then I put in my clip-in extensions. My hair is like kind of subpar. I'm not loving my hair. And hopefully it'll last all night. I don't think it will because I kind of just, I'm not used to doing clip-ins. But I'm just gonna like, Push all the hair to the back and hopefully it'll look okay. And Diane is here. Wait, stand up, I have to show your dress. So cute. So pretty. So pretty. <laughs> so cute. And Daisha. You know, so <laughs> I guess this is where we're going. Hi guys. <laughs> Look at this room that this cocktail hour is in. It's so cute. Imagine renting this room out for like a bachelorette party or something. <laughs> Look at this bathroom. Goals, inspiration. I almost did gold for my bathroom, but I felt like it was gonna be too much. But low key, this is like so cute. And they've got all the collab. Oh my God, this yeah. is so cute. They've got it all set up with the collab makeup in here. We could do our touch-ups. Our new lip duos are in here. Our new matte lipsticks. We've got new colors. Look at this. This is like so cute. Of course, I'm supposed to be here for the party and I'm worried about the decor. Oh my God. 
I want to come back here and like rent this space out for like some sort of <gasps> what the heck? But I wonder how much it costs. Yeah, this would be so cute for a bachelorette party. We got the ring light over here so we can take selfies. So we're literally all in here doing a photo shoot now. Behind the scenes. There you go. Perfect, guys. That raven, those legs, girl. That honey. the little cocktail. I was actually really cute. I wasn't expecting them to have everything. So I feel like there's a piece of hair on my, there we go. I wasn't expecting them to have everything so set up with like, that room was like, was I wanna come awesome. back here and have, oh. Mm -hmm. I wanna come back here and have like, I wanna get that room for something. It was so yeah, cute. Was cute. Uh, so we took a lot of cute pictures. We had some drinks, we had some hors d'oeuvres. We hung out with everybody. That was like a really cute cocktail hour. They gave us goodie bags. So of course collab makeup in here. And then um, we actually took some, uh, I think this is rose to go because we're in Vegas. So it's weird because in Texas, like you can't bring alcohol anywhere. Like you can't walk out of anywhere without, like even to like leave your hotel room or leave your hotel, you're not allowed to do that. But we took some to go and then everybody was like, let's meet down in the lobby because it's basically like a casino down there with a big bar and restaurants and all this stuff that's um, downstairs in, I mean, we're at the, the Palms, so. If you've ever been here, you know how much stuff is downstairs. They're like, let's just meet up downstairs. So we're about to go downstairs, see what they want to do, probably get a few drinks at the bar and then maybe venture out. We we got some suggestions of like clubs and stuff to go to. I want to do something. Wanna, we got to do something because I've never yeah. been here before. So I want to go out. I mean, we're at the best place right now. Like this is like there's so much to do just in this one building, but I want to venture out and like see Vegas. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what we get up to. So the next morning after hitting the club, we had our actual product development meeting where the whole collab collective along with the collab team met together to discuss all of the new and upcoming products so that we could give our ideas and our feedback, swatch products, write down notes so they can make necessary changes and everything like that. So this is a really cool experience. I've been doing this for a couple of years now with this brand and it's just really cool to 
actually be able to put in my own feedback and like low key like really be a part of creating a major makeup brand so a lot of work goes into it a lot of discussion a lot of swatching talking about formula color everything like that so we spent a few hours going over a few of our new and upcoming products so definitely stay tuned in the coming months to see the fruits of our labor and see all of our new products that are coming out I'll definitely be updating you guys on Instagram another toast to close out the trip and we all are going to be going home to our separate cities and states and they gave us suitcases as another goodie bag to take home i thought that was really cute <laughs> okay hey guys so um i have been back from vegas since i got back on thursday afternoon um daisha went home to Dallas. Zaya came back home to me from Grammy's house. Friday uh, morning, I got up and took Zaya to school as normal. I uh, had to get back to the grind immediately, even though I really was not feeling too good from Vegas and everything. I didn't realize that the air in Vegas is so dry or just like the environment, the cigarette smoke, the weed smoke. I don't know exactly what all the factors were, but I came home feeling very like my airway and every, like I just did not feel good. Um, but I got up Friday morning, took Zaya to school, and then I had to, so that was yesterday. Yeah, cause today's Saturday. Wasn't really feeling good, but I had a lot of other content and stuff to work on. So I was like editing videos. I was talking to my video editor about a video that she was editing. Cause usually like we're both working on different, like I'm editing a video and she's editing another video and I'm like supervising her editing the other video. Um, and then I also had to shoot some content. So I did, it was a beauty, beauty brand content. So I did like this full makeup look. I was trying to get all this done before picking up Zaya from school. I did this full makeup look, you guys. And then I got like 90% done and then I messed up and I started trying, you know when you mess up on your makeup and you start trying to like add stuff and fix it, but it just makes it worse. So then I was like, oh my God, this looks horrible. And I had to wipe it all off. <laughs> I had just spent like an hour doing my makeup, wiped it off didn't get the content done, picked up Zaya, brought her home, did our little like nighttime dinner routine. And then I basically had to redo my makeup and shoot the content after she went to bed. So then I got like two hours of sleep, woke up this morning on two hours of sleep. That's why I look like this, cause I've been traveling to Paris, to Vegas, not sleeping, not feeling good, trying to get content done. And here I am. I leave for Atlanta tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. But I'm just trying to get my life together because clearly my life is not together and I am not packed or ready for Atlanta yet. So this is just the reality of, you know, what, what really goes on behind the scenes of how it looks all fun and glamorous on Instagram and all y'all see is like, I'm here and here's me taking pictures and I look cute. But what y'all don't see, <laughs> is the fact that I am a procrastinator. I am super last minute with everything all the time. I do not have my life together. I need to do better. And so now here I am struggling to put looks together, figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. And I'm like, bro, this is YouTube black. I'm going to be on stage. I'm going to be on a red carpet. I'm gonna be doing a meet and greet. If there was ever, this is like, this is like prom. So I literally just posted on my, Instagram. If there's any Atlanta hairstylists who just may be, you know, available tomorrow to do my hair when I get to Atlanta or something because I'm really not sure what I wanna do with my hair. It'd be a lot better if I actually had a hairstylist, but you know, 
I don't have my life together, so I didn't have that planned out. So yep, you heard that right. It's the day before the trip to Atlanta for YouTube Black, my first time going. I'm gonna be going on stage in front of thousands of people, walking a red carpet and having a meet and greet, and I have nothing packed, nothing planned, no hairstyle plan, no outfits, nothing like that. The only thing I did do was place a very last minute order on Fashion Nova because they have overnight Saturday delivery shipping. They're one of the only places I could find that have that. So I had stuff overnighted to me that I ordered from Fashion Nova, and now I'm just trying to rush and get my stuff together. So far, what I did have is this glittery dress, which is actually also from Fashion Nova. The last time I was ordering last minute stuff, this was actually supposed to be for Vegas, but I didn't end up going out the second night. So I didn't end up needing that outfit for Vegas. So I was like, okay, I'll save that for Atlanta. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear that for like the dinner or the after party in Atlanta. But I also have this outfit, which I'm excited about. I got it from Hanifa, I think is how you say it. It's a two piece outfit. Houston, we have a problem. My main outfit that I thought was gonna be like my red carpet on stage look doesn't actually fit like I thought it did. I don't know what's wrong with me. I realized I never actually tried on the top. The top is too small. It's choking me, it's choking my arms. It doesn't look right. My whole boob is out underneath it because this is supposed to be, it's just too small. I right? it's just too small. The pants, I like the pants. Overall, they fit. They're good. Fit around the waist. They're super long. Even on my tippy toes, even with heels on, they still drag the floor, which I think is a look, especially for like special event red carpet. I really like. The pockets, however, are causing me issues because I've got these big pocket pouches that like create a lot of wrinkles like because it's such a light color and stretchy fabric all in all i ended up with a bunch of mismatched pieces where like the top fit but the bottoms didn't fit vice versa or it was a cute look but it just didn't fit the occasion or it wasn't going to match the hair color that i knew i was going to get or just for some reason i knew it was going to be too hard to walk in and i didn't want to trip on stage or i knew it wasn't going to look good in pictures there was a lot of stuff like i know you guys are probably looking at the stuff i just tried on like that's cute like why didn't you pack that why didn't you wear that but there was like a reason for everything that just made it like not work and I was really really struggling okay so Zaya is up from her nap I'm high key freaking out because I stayed in my closet for a long time trying on a bunch of stuff trying to put my outfits together like I said it's my own fault it's just I have nobody to blame but myself but my main outfits like I don't know I've got options for everything but the most important outfit, which is like the stage red carpet meet and greet outfit. Like that's my main look and my ideas are not coming together and I'm just like struggling. Mommy, what? This is pipe carpet. Red carpet. I'm gonna do a red carpet. Do you know what that is? It's for the boys. <laughs> so I literally think I'm about to go to the mall, like take Zaya with me to the mall. My little crusty dusty mall that's right here that I know I'm probably not gonna find anything, but I'm just gonna look and see one more time. Good news yeah. is I did hear back from two really good Atlanta ba Atlanta based hairstylists who look like they do really good hair. They said they're available, so I'm talking to two stylists right now to see if I can get something together to be able to get my hair done there, which will really help and like take a load off. At least I know my hair will be on fleek, hopefully. So then I went to the mall, but the mall closed by me really sucks. There's like no good stores in there. There's literally like not even a Forever 21, but there's a Windsor. So I went in Windsor and luckily I did find a few options. I'm kind of beating myself up because I should have brought more options with me because once I got to Atlanta, I ended up like missing some things, but I did find a few options. I found this really cute bodysuit. I found a red skirt. So I ended up buying this outfit and I felt a little bit better about what I was packing. Okay, you guys, so it is now 9.15 p.m. Uh, my mom already picked up Zaya, took her to her house to keep her while I'm gone. Like I said, right now I am finishing up still some uh, work. I can say this because by the time you guys see this vlog, this will already have happened, but I am doing a sponsor video with Target. So I think it would be the video I just posted before this video. So yeah, sponsor video with Target obviously is super big deal to me because that's been on my bucket list for forever. And that's the video that I'm like working on right now with my editor. So you can see why it's taking like a lot and I'm like trying to get it done and get it right before I go out of town because then it's like, it's just this whole thing. So I'm still working on that right now. I went and got my hair done at a salon, got it cut and straightened and then I haven't washed it since then and that was today is today is october 19th i got my hair done on october 1st 
I got my hair done on October 1st, you guys. That's a problem. So I cannot go to Atlanta with my hair like this. I have to wash it. I have to put a wig on. I have to re-straighten it or something. Or I have to get together with a stylist in Atlanta who's gonna do my hair. But that hasn't completely been settled yet. I thought that I had two candidates, but then one candidate fell off and the other candidate. Update, it is now midnight. And I have some good news. I secured a hairstylist. So the good news is I don't have to do anything to my own hair. That's one less thing that I, you know, need to worry about or like do or get ready right now because the hairstylist is gonna do my hair when I get there. I am a little bit nervous, not gonna lie, because this is just somebody who I just literally heard of today, just literally snagged them up. I'm literally, I'm so thankful that she was responding. It's midnight and I'm, I am just finished like texting her and getting straight on everything. Fingers crossed, good vibes, good, good manifesting vibes that everything is gonna be perfect and my hair is just gonna look slayed and it's gonna look way better than if I would have tried to just struggle and do it myself. I'm about to just throw all the stuff in the suitcase, all the options that I do have. You know, I'm not super happy with um, my clothing options or anything, but I'm just gonna pack everything that I have just so I have options, accessories, bags, shoes, all that jazz. Then I'm going to take a shower slap some self tanner on and then maybe have time to take a very short nap before the driver comes at 4 a.m. All right, y'all, I made it to Atlanta. I am looking crusty, I am feeling crusty. I made it, you know, the car picked me up. I made it on time. I just barely got myself together, I barely got my stuff together, but I made it and then I slept on the plane. It, mm -hmm, it like went by like I literally fell asleep and then I feel like I got here instantly. So I'm still kind of tired, but it's fine. At least I got to sleep a little bit. So I'm staying at the Moxie, which is a really cute, very, very cute hotel. I'm loving the matte black. Yes, these are my vibes. Little mini hotel room tour, but I'm actually in a rush right now because it is 11.30. Um, it's 11.30. Oh, I woke up like this. But yeah, room is really cute. And I am supposed to be getting on a shuttle to go to the venue to have rehearsal for the YouTube Black Fan Fest at 12. They said that they could delay, delay it for me in a couple minutes if need be. Um, I was like rushing to get over here. My flight was actually delayed a tiny bit. So yeah, I have about 30 minutes to try to look a little better than this just because I'm about to literally go to the venue and meet all the other influencers that I'm going to be doing the little stage moment with. And I've never met any of these influencers or the people on the team before. So moments like this, I don't really want to be like fresh off the airplane looking like this. So I'm going to change into something else. I'm going to maybe throw on a stitch of makeup. Okay, so I did a quick little 20 minute change here. Light makeup, outfit change. I even have these little heels on, you know. I wanna look cute. So now I'm about to go downstairs. There's a driver waiting to pick me up, to take me to the venue, and I'm gonna meet everybody and do a little rehearsal. So essentially, YouTube Black is an event for black YouTubers, obviously. It is put on by YouTube itself, Google itself. So it's a really big event. They've been doing it for a few years. This year was in Atlanta in collaboration with Morehouse and Spellman for their homecoming. And I was chosen to be one of the featured creators for their fan fest, which was a whole stage performance thing that they were putting on for the students to watch. I was going to be part of a game show segment on stage, along with some other creators, including Zachary Campbell, Nicole TV, who I love, the Taylor Girls, etc. So I had to come the day before and go to the venue and do a rehearsal so that we could practice what we were going to do on stage. And also a part of being a feature creator is that I was going to be having a meet and greet while I was there and walking the red carpet. So they were setting up this whole meet and greet station. It was so freaking cute. I was so excited. Okay, so I am back from rehearsal. Was this piece of hair sticking up the whole time? We just kind of ran through the game show and how everything is gonna go and how we're gonna walk on stage and everything like that. Me, 
Nima Tang, uh, Zachary Campbell is hosting it, and Nicole TV is one of the contestants with me. Okay, wait, since this whole video is basically about manifesting and crossing things off of my bucket list, I wanted to point out something else to you guys. Look at this tweet that I tweeted on September 18th, which was before I even found out that I was going to YouTube Black or anything like that, saying that I love Nicole TV and I want to meet her, and then boom, I got invited to YouTube Black, and who is a part of my segment that I'm doing? Nicole TV. And, um, um, the Taylor girls are contestants and then 360 Jeezy who's a barber. This is definitely different for me. I've never like I typically I don't do any type of live performances on stage type of stuff like ever. I don't think I ever have done stuff like that before. So I was a little bit nervous but we ran through it. It's, it's simple enough, easy enough, feels you know not too scary so I feel like it's gonna be pretty good we have another rehearsal tomorrow because um, everything happens at night but tomorrow during the day we have another rehearsal age is actually she just landed so because there was no reason for her to come like early during my rehearsal so she just landed she's gonna be pulling up to the hotel pretty soon we have a little bit of free time and then there's going to be a dinner for the creators tonight at 8 knock knock I have arrived. Who's there? I thought that was here hanging there. <laughs> Look who it is. This is like darling. Oh, and yeah, by the way, I invited my other bestie, Style Ageless, Adriana Age, on this trip. I invited Daisha to Vegas, as you saw. So then I invited Age to Atlanta. Usually with these trips, they let us bring a plus one. And that's usually just for like our manager, our assistant, boyfriend, husband, friend, someone just to come with you to help you with stuff. And so Age was here to help me vlog and take pictures and just be moral support and everything like that. And I was so glad that she came because she was super helpful. <laughs> Raven, what are you drinking? Really? I'm drinking a mahalo, y'all. I'm okay. But like, is that sweet tea, lime juice, and Thai And it's good. I was gonna say thoughts. Let's look at my lovely date for the night. Hello, people. We're serving some very exquisite appetizers, hors d'oeuvres. That's a goblet. This is a goblet. Oh my god. Let's get into it. Zach, what did you order? Stuff. A potion. Yeah, a potion. A whole potion. A potion. Happy Halloween. Okay. Good morning. Atlanta. It is the day of the show, the red carpet, the big hoopla. I woke up this morning and I washed my hair because my hair had not been washed in 20 days and I was not finna wear my hair in that bun. The hairstylist is coming in probably like 30 minutes or so. After what? It's not dried. <laughs> I'm supposed to be blowing out my hair. Uh, before she gets here, I'm about to do that right now. Took a shower, moisturized, uh, you know, starting to get prepped for the full glam today. So the amazing hairstylist, Adriana Styles, came in and saved the day. Like I said, I was texting her the night before I came at midnight trying to see if she was available and she was. So I'm super thankful for her coming in. So last minute, I asked her to do a custom lace wig and I wanted to do this dark red burgundy color just because I was going with like a red and black theme for my look because I felt like that would look really good with the whole YouTube black setup because that was kind of like their color scheme and I thought it would look good on stage something eye-catching and different and I mean I'm in Atlanta and Atlanta is known for their hair their lace wigs they slay all the time so I wanted to just do something different so she came to my hotel room early in the morning and actually the night before she was up until 4 a.m. coloring this wig for me so shout out to Adriana for pulling this together so last minute and she laid it I mean what a lace that wig was growing out of my scalp she curled it and everything and then I just left the curls alone like obviously I was gonna brush them out but I didn't want them to fall because this was done at like 10 in the morning and I wasn't gonna be going on stage until 8 at night so I was trying to do my best to keep my hair looking good until then <laughs> go 
showtime. I got my hair mostly done. I just need to like brush out the curls and make sure it's looking good. But the lace is laid. I have like one third of a face of makeup on, so I look crazy. I have my top on, but I don't have my pants on. I'm just looking. I'm looking wild right now because I'm like half ready. I'm a work in progress. I look real ratchet with these slides, these pants, this look. Don't judge me, but we're gonna pull it together. I packed up hella stuff, jewelry, makeup, clothes, shoes, all this stuff taken over there. Let me make sure I have my brush, phone, hotel key. I think we're good. Heading to the venue and then it's game time! We are boarding to head to the venue for the real action. <laughs> and someone can't choose a seat. <laughs> So this moment right here is why I started off this video jokingly saying I think I'm a famous YouTuber now because this made me feel crazy. Like this was like a real celebrity type moment. When I got there, they had a talent liaison, which is this girl you see right here with the braids. Her name is Shay. She was assigned to me to basically be kind of like my assistant and make sure that I'm in the right place at the right time, make sure that I'm eating, make sure if I need anything for hair, makeup, wardrobe. They dropped us off on these nice buses, brought us around the back side door of the venue where they had all these trailers and stuff full production team they had a whole green room set up backstage that was sponsored by walmart with food and everything i mean it was literally like i don't know i felt like i was backstage at a beyonce concert or something i was like is this how celebrities live is this what every day is like when you're famous like it was i've never i've just i've never been involved in anything like this before never seen this side of things when it comes to like a full production when raven's a diva and she has to come to her own little area to do her own makeup you guys the struggle guess i should have just really did my makeup before <laughs> oh well i am the makeup artist she ditched the makeup artist and became her own okay ladies when you pack your setting spray, pack one of these folding fans. It's just like a makeup brush, goes in your thing, doesn't take up too much space, and then you spray your face and then you can fan it. This is my new thing. And you will get to be one of the few most dramatic women ever. I can't do the little. You guys, look how good this makeup looks. Almost done. This eye. I'm gonna do my yes. lips. Tuning back in with the final look. Finished look. I mean, I still need to put like earrings on. I actually don't think I'm gonna wear a necklace. But this is the makeup done. I did my makeup in a porter potty. They gave us a, what is this? The Google, what's it called? This one is the Pixel 4. Google Pixel 4 phone and I the camera is wild. No. And it was inside the pizza box as a surprise. They're like, oh, we got pizza. I and then you open the, the like, pizza box. Of what we originally found And it there. was in here. So as you guys saw, I ended up doing my own makeup in one of the trailer bathroom things just because they did have hair and makeup on site, but I'm kind of picky with my makeup and stuff. So I just wanted to do it myself and that turned out okay. And then like you saw, they gave us Google Pixel phones and after we ate and everything, it was time for stuff to really get real. So as you can see, this is me backstage getting mic'd up getting ready to go on stage and actually rehearse one more time before the real thing and you guys can see all the equipment and stuff they had a full crew i mean google youtube they really put in a lot into the production quality like this is like a full-blown concert type setup so it was pretty nerve-wracking and they actually had a screen set up backstage in the green room showing you what was going on live on stage so this was ages view from backstage watching me rehearse behind the scenes of a selfie. <laughs> One, two, three. One more. We're here. Heading to the meet and greet with Mr. The Me Grisha. One <laughs> Heading to the meet and Grisha with Zach Campbell over here. I'm excited. I don't know what this is about to be like, but we gonna see. So after rehearsal, the first part of FanFest was actually my group's meet and greet. So I was grouped up with Zach Campbell and 360 Jeezy and Next Town Down and also Sherry Silver. And we did kind of like a group meet and greet where all the students who signed up for it could kind of funnel through and meet all of us at once. And this was like the most legit meet and greet I have ever done. Like I said, the production quality, the setup of everything this whole time was just so nice. And they actually told me that I could keep that little sign that 
says my name on it they're gonna ship it to me so I'm gonna put it in my studio room I'm so excited but yeah it was just set up so nicely and so many of you guys came I got to meet so many of you guys it was so exciting so nice I love doing meet and greets I love being able to talk to you guys in person and hug you guys and take photos and you guys had me out here signing autographs like I have never signed autographs before so that was like a really cool feeling as well it was just good vibes good energy all around I think I was in there for like about an hour or something like that trying to meet as many of you guys as possible so shout out to everybody who came through to meet me I really enjoyed it So where are we going? Okay, so I did my meet and greet. I did a little outfit change. You guys see Not this? Yet, and then at night, Mama comes out to play. <laughs> now I'm about to go do the red carpet. <laughs> I'm a little nervous because I I forgot that I have to like actually talk and like do a little on camera interview. Have you done a red carpet before? I've done a red carpet, but I didn't talk. It was just photos. Mm. I can do photos. The talking part is the scary part, but. But won't this be even better than going, you're about to talk in front of a lot of people. Yeah, but I have that already pre-planned out what I'm gonna say. At least I don't know what, what the, you know. Yeah. We are officially at the red carpet. Ray looks really good. Her hair looks so really good. It's already a vibe in there. Oh, y'all know what's Oh, oh. You know what I mean? So I walk out on the red carpet with hella photographers and videographers and fans on the other side of the carpet and Katie Dawn is there and she's going to ask me an interview question and I have no idea what it's going to be. You made me go from a 10 to a 2. How you doing tonight? You look good. good. Okay, so what is one thing that you love most about the YouTube black community? I just love like the hypeness. Like this is a hype lit group of people, like high energy. Oh, I agree, I agree. Who is someone you look forward to seeing tonight? I'm just talking about Queen. Queen Angel. Or, yeah. Are you creepy? So I got a gift for you from Walmart. Do you cook? Uh, well, I'm trying. Well, you're going to start now. So thank you for coming up here talking to me. You look good. And I hope you enjoy tonight. Okay. Look at you guys. God. I didn't know Walmart was giving out gifts and they had a KitchenAid mixer for me and this part was super awkward because I didn't know if I was supposed to grab it. Then of course I had to do my little step and repeat taking photos on the red carpet and I'm just being real with you guys all these photos came out trash because I didn't know where to look what to do so every photo that they got of me was like with me with my eyes closed. <laughs> After that, it was time for the show to start. So my segment wasn't until about like halfway through the show. They had Queen Nyjah performing, they had Black performing, they had dancers and comedy acts and all types of stuff. And Age was in the audience watching and recording this, but I was actually backstage the entire time watching from the screen until it was my turn. So not only was I on stage in front of, I think, over 2,000 people in the audience, but this was also on a live stream. And when I checked at the beginning of the show, there were over 55,000 people tuned in on the live stream.
So I walked out on stage, I didn't trip, I looked kind of awkward, but that's to be expected. I answered all the questions, I said my piece, everything went well. I felt so relieved after it was all done. And then at the end of the show, they brought us back out on stage to do the swag, surf, and just dance and party on stage with all the confetti. I was too busy recording other people because I didn't really want to dance, so mostly it was just the back of my head, but you can kind of see me right there. <laughs> Just got back from the show and look how cute they left this little setup in my room while I was gone. Look at all the YouTube merch. It says, we heard that the tent may drop tomorrow, so here's a little something to warm you up. Additionally, here's a few things to keep you looking fresh and photo ready. Love, team YouTube. Look so legit. We got a hoodie. They gave us a jacket already at the thing and something else in the bag. I haven't even like looked what's in there. Then we got a, a full bevel shave system. Welcome to Atlanta, read this. Oh, this is like all the info, what's this? Uh, I think it's skincare. Ooh, some Fenty. They hooked us up with some Fenty, okay. Is that a hint? I hope that's a hint for tomorrow. <laughs> Probably not, because oh, mm -hmm. they said oh, they, they have some big really speakers. Big. I'll literally cry. I would. I, I will ball out. my eyes out. It's okay, so name. last night at dinner we were with the people from Google from mm. YouTube, and they they haven't told us who the speakers are tomorrow for the actual like uh, creator summit. And they're like, but last year we had Naomi Campbell, we had Janelle Monae, we have big names, blah, blah, blah. So just, just know it's like big names, but they wouldn't tell us who it is. And so I've been trying to like think of like who it could be. And I see that they gave us some Fenty uh, Beauty. Just know she won't record it because she'll be I passed will, out. I will <laughs> ball my eye. I don't think you guys understand. I will ball my eyes out if Rihanna is a speaker tomorrow. I don't think she is. But if that were But if that was... Look. Personalized Coke, so cute. I'm not gonna open that, I'm gonna keep that. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> the creators, oh they've got all the creators in. Oh look at Alyssa. Oh here oh. I am. <gasps> oh my mom is gonna be, she loves Funky Dine. And Dine you guys are right next to one of them. And then Queen Nigel's right here. Shambles defines my life. Wait, I wanted that to be. Nike Air, they said, somebody already told me. They got us on Air Force One, please. And then you take them downstairs Fresh. and you can get them customized. Yeah, they're uh, <laughs> customizing. These are so cute. Oh All God. the swag. Oh, they put a Sharpie in here. I think maybe you're supposed to like get them customized or like let people sign them or whatever. That's so cute. It's like your yearbook. Like yearbook. Oh Most God. epic homecoming ever. Okay, so now the after party is going on downstairs, but I want to like change, freshen up, and then we're going to go down there. We're going to turn up and meet all the rest of the creators that are here. Because after the party is the after party. Good morning. It is day three in Atlanta, I think. It is Tuesday. Today is the Creator Summit. So yesterday was the Fan Fest, the homecoming stage show red carpet all that stuff today is like just for the creators it's like panels workshops lectures you know giving us tips about youtube letting us network letting us get together type of thing i had a whole outfit planned as you guys saw earlier in the vlog but when i found out exactly what we were doing once i got here i was like i need to be comfy and casual for this instead of wearing my little pantsuit moment. I think I'm gonna put on the pantsuit later today, but anyway, so I'm just wearing like the YouTube black sweater that they gave me yesterday, which came in clutch because I would not have had the right thing to wear today. And yeah, I'm about to go just meet up with the other creators. Oh, last night was lit because we went downstairs. They had like the creator party serving drinks photo booth, blah, 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 everything. That's when I saw Alyssa Ashley and Arnell and Jayla and Latoya and Shalom Black and everyone was down there and we were having drinks and talking and stuff. And then afterwards, we went to a club, got together and went out after and then just had fun 
and I really got to like hang out with everyone. There's a lot of people that I never get to hang out with because they're all like based in LA and stuff like that. So these types of things are like my only opportunity really to ever see them. So I was excited about that, but yeah. I'm about to go. So the Creator Summit was held at Skyline Park, or I think it's called like Ponce Market or something like that. Really pretty like rooftop space in the city. And they had it all set up with lunch and everything like that. And they actually had this whole big tent set up for the actual speakers and panels and stuff. And I was hanging out with Jayla Majette the whole day. I had met her briefly before, but this was like our first time like actually hanging out. And girl, we just like became besties. She is so funny. I love her already. If you guys have not checked out her channel, you definitely should. We just sat down in the panel with Keisha. Hey, Jay. We in here. I know. It's copyright, but uh, about to do some some special some special panels. I think Ti about to come out. So obviously, as you can see, one of the special guests that they had was T.I. himself and Jackie Ina was interviewing him. It was actually a very good, very interesting interview. I was sitting right there in the front row. It felt very intimate, like a normal conversation. That's one of the things I really liked about this summit. And then they also brought out Miss Taraji and did another really good interview with her. So they were on point with these special guest speakers and the topics. It was, like I said, just a very intimate conversation about some very important topics and besides the special guest speakers there were also speakers from YouTube from Google from the industry giving us tips pointers and things like that after all the guest speakers, we gathered outside to take a group photo. And this was a crazy moment because looking around me, all I see is just like all these big popular YouTubers surrounding me. Are you going to a little trap thing? Are you going to a trap thingy? I am. Yeah. yeah. Say hey, Arnell. Hey, oh, this is good lighting. You look so cute. About to head to the trap museum. You they got the signs that say trap. You having fun? I am having so much Have you fun. met anyone that you were excited to meet? Yes. Drop names. Everybody. Yeah, for Everybody. real. Everybody's so here. There's so many names. Oh, wait a minute. This is so cute. Oh, there are rap snacks. <laughs> Very fitting. Okay. All right, so we just pulled up to the Trap Music Museum. Basically, we took a field trip to the Trap Music Museum, which was very fitting. Obviously, we're in Atlanta. We had T.I. as a guest speaker. This is his museum. Everything was kind of all going with the theme, and I thought this was really cool. Come on in, y'all. Come on in, y'all. Y'all in my time to start. Welcome, welcome. Hope you like it. You know what I'm talking about? We did a little sun, sun, spruce it up. Yeah, for y'all. So I hope you like what you see. Look out the land. This might be the last cruise. Look out the last back there. So like, let's go. Hey, ladies. Hey girl. Look at the mattress in the pool. All right, y'all. Huh? Welcome to the band, though. I'm Grandma. How y'all doing? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. All right. Number one, please respect my house, baby. Because if there be any disrespect, we will pay our final respects at your funeral. Right. <laughs> this is the definition of trap music. Um, a lot of people, like I said out there, they make trap music. You know, you hear the the culture glorified, but it's never really addressed. It was jumpsuits. It was guns. Um, and we have a couple. We have a portrait. These are all actual clothing that he has worn. Um, this he wore at the BT Awards. That's an actual Grammy. There is residue in here. But you know, people take pictures like they cooking up and stuff. <laughs> one for Gucci Man, one for T.I., one for Jeezy, and each of the jackets is custom. <laughs> Look where we at, this is so cute. I'm so excited, ATL. What it do baby? We about to go skate. 
Rashad. Yeah. <laughs> can I be Nunu? Yes. Alright, we in here. So as you can see, after the Trap Music Museum, there was a secret after party that turned out to be at Cascade. They didn't tell us what it was until the very last minute. So we actually had to run to the mall to get outfits because I did not pack accordingly to go roller skating. And then we pulled up to the roller rink and it was actually Cascade, which is the famous skating rink from the movie ATL, famous in Atlanta, all that stuff. So you guys can see how the theme all goes together. I thought it was so freaking cute. I was super excited just because I live for a theme. I love a good theme. I love a well thought out event. And I just thought that this was super cute. And skating is a really fun idea for an after party. And YouTube actually rented out the entire place. It was a private event. They had it all set up with YouTube merch and YouTube. They built out so many things this entire like few days. It was crazy. They had food and snacks and drinks and cocktails and just all types of stuff. It was actually pretty crazy. Thank you. So we came upstairs, that's where we are. It's called Metro something. It's popular, apparently. So 
Anyway, that's where we are. That's why it's 2.20 because this is after everything that we already did today. We ordered chicken and waffles. I'm gonna put some butter on yours. Go ahead. Cause you know what I'm saying? I gotta cut this. We got it, we shared it because we don't want to be too heavy. We're not trying to sleep like a rock tonight because we gotta wake up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, this my is flight heavy. is in the like literally early in the morning, like in a few hours basically. Okay, okay guys, so it is now probably what time is it? 3 13 a.m. And by the way, look at how I just absolutely annihilated and destroyed this room. I don't think I ever even properly told y'all that age left early this morning. Um, she was just coming for yesterday for the actual like fan fest and stuff to help me with everything since I was going on stage I needed her as moral support, but she left this morning. It has been a crazy past couple of days But yeah guys, this was a really really cool experience Not only just like YouTube black itself was a very cool experience Especially coming my first time and meeting a lot of these creators and stuff for the first time But just the entire month of October the month is not even over yet We haven't even made it to all the Halloween festivities yeah, that's gonna be the next thing but this month was really like Just a pivotal like this was like a crazy month and now that I'm getting a chance to kind of sit down and really think about it Which by the way, I feel like this vlog is going to be so long anyway Just to kind of like summarize everything this month. I went to Paris the first week of the month then I went to Vegas and now I'm in Atlanta for YouTube black and in between all that I had some really big brand deals and opportunities that came in as well that I was super excited about getting to work with Target and things like that. So it's just been a really crazy month for me. I mean, I definitely was trying to manifest like traveling more and going to more events. So I guess in a way I was purposely doing it, but it was just unexpected the way that everything all happened so fast this month. Like going to Paris, Vegas, and Atlanta, like crossing so many things off my like I wanted to go to Paris so bad I wanted to see Vegas for the first time I wanted to go to YouTube black and be invited to events like this and for me to not only like get invited but to be invited as a featured creator and they personally chose me to go on stage and have like not special privileges but sort of like give me that spotlight to have a meet and greet and these extra things that they only chose a few creators to have those things and they chose me which just made me feel so like I was talking to Jay in the Uber just now, like, 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 just what the heck? Like YouTube, like YouTube, YouTube itself recognized me, invited me somewhere. Even though I've been doing YouTube for a long time and it's always been um, a business and I do take it seriously, part of me always still feels like, I just still feel like that girl in my bathroom making little crappy DIY videos, like just that weird girl making videos, like, I don't see myself as any type of superstar. I don't see myself as any type of celebrity. You have celebrities and you have regular people. That's how a lot of people think of it. I think of it the same way when it comes to like YouTubers. Like you have these super famous YouTubers and then you have me who just kind of like does YouTube. Like that's how I consider myself. But to be put on the same list, put in the same spaces, recognized by the same people, as these big YouTubers that I look up to, like to just be sitting on the set, like in the same group, like literally in the same group, sitting on the same bus, going to the same event. That is something that I would have never, it's like I didn't even think about it. I didn't even plan for it. I didn't even, I wasn't even like, it wasn't even on my radar. It's just crazy. And I'm super just like excited and happy and thankful about it because stuff like this, it becomes a stepping stone for even more things and who who knows what the next things are going to be anyway i've been rambling on long story short youtube black was a super cool experience i didn't even get to vlog or show you guys everything like there was so much going on there are so many funny things happening in between me different creators having conversations um all the events and the parties and going out afterwards and being on, like there's just so much going on just in this one event alone let alone what happened in Vegas, let alone what happened in Paris. And I just can't, there's no way I can like share or explain everything, but just know it's been lit. It's been crazy. It's been an experience. It's been literally crossing things off of my bucket list. The funny thing is I literally, <laughs> right as I'm like planning to go home and, and finally like relax and not be traveling and stuff, I literally get a text being like, do you want to go to Jamaica? And it's like, Ugh. Yes, I want to go to Jamaica, but like I'm not built for this life. I just really wanted to make this vlog and do this vlog in this style to kind of show you guys just like 
what's been going on with me recently because it's crazy and hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed it. I know it's kind of different than like, well, it's really different than my typical mom vlogs and stuff, but that's what's kind of crazy about my life right now. It's like half, like this is very much, this, all this is very much so my life, but then like the very chill at home mom vlogs, it's like that balance between the two. So hopefully you guys like seeing both sides of it. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you think of this type of vlog. Like, do you like to see vlogs when I'm traveling and doing stuff or do you prefer just the more chill stuff at home? Let me know. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you made it this far in my video, you need to just go ahead and subscribe, okay? <laughs> That's all I can say. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.